Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the hydration in concrete. Hydration is actually the process which is happening in the concrete when we pour the concrete on the field. So it can be defined as it is the process in which the chemical reaction occurs between the cement particles and water. So it is the chemical reaction between two different constituents of the concrete. One is the cement particles and one is the water particles. So if I consider that when we pour the concrete on the field, what we do, we first of all mixing the concrete. So for mixing of the concrete, we have different constituent of the concrete. One is the cement particle, water, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. So when the cement particle and water mixes with one another, there is a chemical reaction occur between these two constituent we call as the hydration. And the process is known as the hydration process in concrete. For example, let's this is in a bucket in which in which we mix the uh, cement particle in water when we pour the con when we pour the cement here and water here so this makes the chemical reaction between these two and what happens there is some ener release of energy from this chemical reaction which is also called as the uh, hydration energy so actually the the reaction which is occurring in this in this concrete is because of the cement cementitious particle which are the C3A which are mainly of the C3S with the calcium silicate, tricalcium silicate, C2S, dicalcium silicate and the C3A which is the alum, alum, calcium aluminate uh, these are the main components uh, in the cement which are responsible for the hydration reaction and in the water uh, and the water particles are the H2O particles which makes the reaction with these three different constants of the con of the cement and they make a reaction inside uh, the concrete and which we call is the hydration reaction or the, the process is called the hydration process. So we should know that there are two main constants, one is the cement particle and one is the water. This makes the hydration. Now the hydration reaction in concrete depends on many factors. It like like I can explain some of the factors is like it depends on the mineralogy of this constituent. Mineralogy means the mineral properties of these like which composition which mineral properties this constituent exist exhibit. The other one is the quantity of this con constituent that how much quantity they are present either they are less in quantity either they are more in quantity or they are in medium quantity. The third property can be is like the fineness of the cement that how much your cement fines is. If it is more fines, then we have the more hydration process. So it should keep in mind that hydration reaction in concrete depends on several factors in which we should take care of it. Like it also depends on the particle uh, size distribution. If you have a fine particle cement, then we have different hydration reaction. If you have coarse, uh, fines, coarse uh, cement particle, then we have different hydration reaction. It also depends on the temperature of the water. Temperature of the water. If you are using hot water, then you have high hydration reaction. If you are using cold water, then you have low hydration reaction. And it's very really important for the strength of the concrete. When when you have good hydration reaction inside a concrete, then you you will achieve a good desired strength. So we should be careful while the hydration reaction of the concrete that we have good curing and there is no bleeding and there is no segregation while mixing the concrete uh, so that we have good reaction in the good hydration reaction in the concrete and we can achieve our desired strength this was all about the hydration in the concrete hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video